What is going on button pushers? If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. If you guys are coming back, welcome back. It's great to see you again. Uh, today I want to introduce you guys to the concept of distance in photography and filmmaking to give you a blurry background kind of look. Now this might be a little new to some of you and some of you might understand the whole concept itself. But if you don't, this video is for you. So the blurry background look has a lot to do with your aperture, mainly your aperture but at the same time you can achieve the same kind of feel with distance. So if you are ever in the situation where you might need to stop your aperture to a thinner aperture so you get less light and less of a blurry background this trick might help you out. So a quick rundown of what I use to shoot. So um, in this video, we used a 24 millimeter, a 50 millimeter, and an 85 millimeter. Now these were all L series lenses, but I shot them all at an aperture of f2.8. Now what we're gonna go through is four different situations. Um, one situation where the camera and the background are far from the subject, one situation where the camera is up close and the background is far from the subject, one situation where the camera is far and the background is close and then one situation where the camera and the background are close to the subject. Now that was a lot of information for you guys there but you will see kind of when we run through it I have a GoPro to kind of show you guys the scenario of what it's gonna be and I'll label it for you guys so you guys kind of understand. Let's start off with the 24mm with the subject far from the background and the camera. So they're right here, I'm right here in the middle um, and the background is a little bit blurry but not as blurry as it could be and that's simply because the camera is so far from the subject and the background itself that you know it kind of blends in a little bit. So as I get closer to the camera you start to see that the background gets a lot blurrier and that is something that is kind of natural to it so when the camera is really close to the subject but the background is far from the subject you do get that blurry background look and that really helps and you know it really helps with macro photography as well you know this is like the main concept of macro photography so in the next situation we have the camera far from the subject but the background super close so I kind of walk my way over to the wall and it's kind of a situation where I'm literally against the wall almost so that kind of creates creates the idea that the camera is going to end up focusing on both. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Now the, lastly we're going to go up close to the subject against the wall and we do get both in focus. Everything's in focus and it's kind of like a no blurry background kind of thing. Now we're also going to jump to the 50mm. Now keep in mind that when you're switching lenses, every lens has different situations and different scenarios and different focal lengths. So even though some may be blurrier than others, the concept still applies. But again, when we switch to the 85, you're going to see that even when we're up close against the wall, there is more of a blur if I'm not literally pressed onto the wall. So you'll see later. So the 50mm, the subject far from camera and from background. Um, we do get a really nice little uh, bokeh isolation kind of look and then as we get closer to the camera here you see it gets even more intense even more strong and then uh, lastly against the wall with the camera far from the subject it's still a little bit in focus but you'll start to notice that the background is starting to kind of be less in focus even though I'm a little bit closer. Lastly, both close to the subject, you know, same kind of concept, the background's still more in focus than it would have been if it was up close or in the mid-range area. And now for the last lens, we're gonna switch to the 85 millimeter. And we're gonna start again with the camera in the background far from the subject, so the subject's right there in the middle. You get to see there's a lot more isolation simply because the focal length is so far compared to 85. I'm sure if we switched to a 200, you would see basically nothing of the background, which is something that's really cool. And uh, now we're gonna switch to getting closer. So subject and camera close to each other with the background far, and you'll see that the background is just completely isolated it's just you know blurry <laughs> and then lastly uh, subject close to the background and camera far you'll see again that the background is a lot more in focus compared to the last few that's simply because it's in 85 but you'll see that it's pretty much the same kind of concept and then close close again the 85 is definitely going to have a little bit of isolation simply because it, the focal length allows it to but same concept applies. So the idea of distance allows for a lot of different 
you know concepts to be shot even with the 16 to 35 2.8 now aperture is definitely important and it's why lenses are so expensive because it makes life a little bit easier so you don't have to worry about this distance kind of thing but at the same time you go with a 7200 you're gonna get amazing isolation a 100 millimeter 135 millimeter and 85 millimeter and as you get wider the isolation and the bokeh starts to be not as blurry you know so the, the longer the distance the more blur you get if you're shooting on a 16 yes you can achieve the blurry background look if you get super close but you might get some distortion it really depends what lens you're going but again you can definitely achieve a blurry background look with pretty much almost any lens unless there's like an aperture of a f14 like the lower like the probe lens there's a lot of ways to achieve it and i just really wanted to share this information with you because i feel like it's something that people don't really talk about and they really just depend on aperture so much because sometimes if you run a really nice isolated look but you only have a 35 millimeter 1.4 or something and you want something a little bit more isolated you could go for the 85 even if it's a 2.0 or a 2.8 the 85 is going to give you a lot more isolation look as opposed to that 35 1.4 depending on the distance of how far you're shooting from the subject or how close the subject is to their background so it's just something to add to what you want to think about when you're shooting anyways guys thank you guys for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it make sure you guys hit that subscribe button um you know let me know if you guys want to know anything specific in the comments below if there's anything you've been dying to learn or just curious about let me know in the comments i'll see if i can get a cover for you guys um keep pushing buttons and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye.